Hi, my name is Henry, and welcome to my home. I want to share with you one of the most important things in the world, trying new foods. I live in a small town in the country with my mom. I love her so much, she's a wonderful mother and a very busy lady, so sometimes she needs to rush. Now I understand why my dad says, Anyone could cook, but not everyone has the time to cook fancy. I'm really lucky because I get to visit my dad on the weekends. He's a chef in the big city and makes fancy food. Some people say he's all important, but like my pop up always told me, It's nice to be important, but it is more important to be nice. I remember the first time seeing all the bright colors at the aquarium. There were so many different kinds of fish living and working together. As we looked at these fantastic creatures, he tells me, Oh, you're weird. It's what makes us all so special. We were on a mission for some strange ingredients, so we biked to the farmer's market in the middle of downtown. This place is huge and quite magical, kind of like a circus full of things to see and smell. So many weird and wild things to look for. Well, let's go. My dad was getting excited. Henry, we've got a big task ahead of us and I'm hungry. Let's go get some fancy food of our own. My dad insisted. We went to a beautiful Japanese restaurant and as we walked through the door, I saw a huge aquarium with a bunch of strange fish. What's that chonky looking one? That's a fugu fish. They're quite poisonous. Sitting at the sushi bar, my dad knew exactly what to order. Yes, my good man. May we have one order of... Fancy edamame, fancy fugu, and fancy big-eyed tuna. My dad told me... If the chef is properly trained, the fugu's tasty meat could become dangerous. What did my dad just order? What was I about to eat? The big eye tuna tasted so fresh while the wasabi tobacco were teeny tiny fish eggs that popped in my mouth. The edamame are warm soybeans mixed with tangy soy sauce. And the fugu, it kind of tasted like moist and juicy chicken. After a wonderful lunch, I had a pep in my step and I was ready to go. My dad paid the bill, tipped our server, and we headed towards the door. Dad turned to me and said, I think I'm ready to go shopping now. But not before we got the first thing on our list. My dad said, let's get back to the market and find the rest of our fancy food. If you can help me find everything, you can pick out a treat. I'm excited for the scavenger hunt. We're gonna have so much fun. Thanks for bringing me on such an important mission. You're the best, Pop Pop. We were wandering down so many avenues, it felt like I was in a video game. Then I noticed a man holding what looked like a pokey football. It was the second thing on our list the durian. When I got to his tent, he cut the fruit open and offered me a chunk. It smelled like my dad's socks. It looked like slimy boogers, but somehow it tasted rich and creamy. It was so weird. Two down, two to go. The chip sock smelled the dirty and was still in my nose, and it reminded me of my pop saying things like, We learn from each other's differences, even if they are a little weird. Then I saw something interesting. A man holding what looked like a ping pong ball with something inside of it. Oh gee, what is that? Uh, this is a pickle day with a surprise inside. They call him Balloon. Hoo hoo grubs. Piping out hoo hoo grubs. The old man whispered as he poured out a bowl of plump and squishy looking worms. Hey, check these out. He whispered again. 
They kind of taste like peanut butter. My dad must be making something magical. I handed the man some money and he gave me back a bag full of peanut buttery worms. My dad always says weird and interesting things. A child's ability to try new foods makes it easier to embrace new and unfamiliar experiences throughout their life. Oh, I told you my dad is a really smart guy. Then I saw him. My dad appeared out of the crowd like a magician drinking a soda pop. Hey, look what I have. This soda's made from artichokes. This market's full of neat surprises. Here, have a taste. Wow, it was so sweet and fresh, I had to take another call before I gave it back. I found all the items on our list. Wow, you did it. Your efforts were always impressive, Henry. I told you if you found all the items on our list, you may pick out something sweet. Then I saw it, the most wonderful looking golden loaf of bread. It seemed to be calling my name. Henry, Henry. Oh no, ordinary loaf of bread, all made with white chocolate, lemons, and a whole lot of love. Bring me home with you. Thanks for a wonderful day, son. Let's go home. I'm hungry and I've got an idea for dinner. My dad's full of ideas and always hungry. You know what, Hank? I'd love for you to make us a meal. What do you say about Brenner? My dad asked. Well, what's Brenner? Well, it's when you take breakfast, subtract lunch, and add dinner. Breakfast for dinner. And you want me to make it for the both of us? You see, Papa, the only thing I've ever made before is a bowl of cereal. But I've always had a great teacher to learn from. Well, shucks, Henry, you're the best. Let's use your special loaf of bread. How much fancier can Brenner get? I made French toast with my special white chocolate and lemon bread topped with real maple syrup and fancy butter. Well, let's not forget the honey crisp apple fritters and the thick slices of applewood bacon. Truly sweet and savory. That kind of help. Oh my, Henry, this is a wonderful meal. I'm very impressed and so proud of you. Does your mom know you can cook this fancy? My father asked. I didn't even know I could cook this fancy. Hmm, amazing, my dear boy. Since I've been back, I've been making something new for Brenner every night. Breakfast for dinner never gets old. Whether it's for my family, friends, or myself, I decided I love to cook. And with every meal, I make sure it's fancy.